gotta put this down. So, the first book I have today was actually a Christmas gift from my parents, and that is the Hamilton Musical book. It has all the lyrics from the musical and it has picture official pictures along with it. It's honestly it's just oh it's so beautiful and it makes me happy. It has like extra tidbits of things and how do you not fall in love with this? It's beautiful and I'm so happy that I got it. I love the soundtrack so that's the first one. Mm. Yes it was a while ago but I'm including it in this so deal with it. These next five books actually came pre-book sale that I've mentioned in a past video. My mom works at a bookstore and they sometimes get accidental shippings and then they're allowed to keep the books and they don't know what to do with them because they're not books that they sell. So my mom was like, hey, before I give these to your book sale, do you want to have some of them for free. I was like, um, yes, thank you. <laughs> the first three is called Remnants, Season of Wonder by Lisa T. Bergren. It sounded interesting. It sounded like, like it looks sci-fi and I got the whole trilogy. It sounds sci-fi, but it, from what I read of the description, it sounds more like a fantasy. So maybe it's a, I don't really know what it's going to be like. I see planets and things and on the covers, so I, I am automatically assume sci-fi, but maybe it's just a crossover. Mm -hmm. Two books from the Orphan Queen series. I have the first one and then I also got the sequel. I read it a little while ago, the description, I thought it sounded pretty good, so I got it because, you know, I mean, they're regularly 22 bucks each, so I am free. I'm happy. And then I saw them in chapters the other day. I was like, hey, I get those for free. Woohoo. Basically, it looks like there's um, uh, a, a female character who can kick butt. So I'm excited to read it. The next one was the book sale that I've mentioned before. We ended up doing a second one because we had hundreds of books left over. So, I ended, and then I ended up buying 10 more books because I have a problem. But they were only a dollar each, so ten dollars and went to a good cause. I was down for it. I did end up getting three poetry books. I've been just interested in collecting these lately, so yeah, I haven't really heard of any of these people, but I'm excited to read them. I have I've asked deep in wonder poems by Christopher Gudgeon. I hadn't actually read the title of this yet, so it looks cool. It's a cool little poetry thing, eh? Woohoo. <laughs> it's a short story of Crazy Bone. It's actually one long poem by Patrick Friesen. He's also a Canadian writer, so that's awesome. Gilmulth, yay. Pound at Gua Gua Guatanamo. I don't know why I can't read today. Yeah. Let's see, by Clint Burnham. It's that one. You never know when you find a poetry book, you might just find something that's going to help you through a time that you're going through or just will be something that you, the language is just something that resonates with you. The next book that I got is The Lovely Bones by Alice Bold. I have not seen the movie. I have not read the book. So I, I have seen the trailer for the movie so I have an idea of what it's about. But I don't know how it ends, how it goes along. So I'm very interested. I've wanted to read this for a long time. But then one of my friends said it's really depressing, so I kind of was put off by it for a few years. But now that I saw it, it's just sitting on the table. I was like, well, might as well give it a shot, right? So the next book that I got is Fire Study by Maria V. Snyder. I have read this series before. This is the third book in the series, actually. It's one of my favorite series. This is one of the books that my mom actually donated to the book sale. And I was like, Oh, that's fine. It's cool. She has two copies. And I thought, wait a second. I don't have any copies. This is a problem. So I bought it. If you haven't read it, read it. So good. The first one is Poison Study. Do it. The next book I have is very well known to people in the YA world. That is This Savage so this, this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I picked this up once in the bookstore and I was like, oh, okay, that sounds 
all right, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's not my thing. But then it kept getting bigger and bigger, and then I watched a few reviews on it, and I was sold. And once again, this is a book that my mom donated from her store, so I could have gotten it for free beforehand, but then I changed my mind, and I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. It's a dollar. Might as well. Maybe I'll end up loving it. I've just heard really good things about this, so excited to read it when I get around to it in 200 years. The next book I have is called The Tattoo Map, a novel by Barbara Hugs Hodgson. It's actually, it is a novel, but it's told through all these pictures and these maps, and it looks beautiful, so I am so excited to read it. It does have, um, it does have text, too, and pictures besides the maps. I just think it's going to be an amazing thing. Let's see, I'm going to read the back real quick for this. A traveler of North Africa is shocked to discover that the mysterious marks on her hand have developed into a detailed macabre map spreading across her skin. The tattooed map, in the tattooed map we follow, Lydia's journal entries as she becomes increasingly drawn to the mystery of the map traced over her body. When Lydia disappears and her traveling partner, Christopher, takes up her journal, the situation becomes even more puzzling until the book's bizarre resolution. So it sounds very cool. I'm very interested in reading this. The next book I have is called The Cry of the Ice Mark by Stuart Hill. I have not heard of this. This was published in 2005. I have never heard of it. I haven't seen anybody review it. It's But it's fantasy. So I thought, I'll just give it a shot. It's a dollar. It doesn't look like it's going to be one of my favorites. But the cover did sort of intrigue me. So... You know, give it a shot, why not, right? The next book I have is Becoming Jane Austen by John Spence. I think this is the one that was, the movie was based off of, which I haven't seen the movie either. I do know some things about Jane Austen because one of my dear friends from high school is a huge Jane Austen maniac. And Lanyanel Girl, because I know she watches these videos, Steph Girl, when I'm done this, I'm going to give it to you. Unless you already have it. Pull there. And yes, I need to read more Jane Austen. I know that. She's gonna like berate me in the comments saying I need to read more Jane Austen. So yeah. I'm really excited though because Jane Austen's a uh, person that has really intrigued me. And the last book that I got from the book sale was The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. I don't own a copy of this series. I have never actually read the series. I have seen the movies many times. But I haven't read the series. I have read The Hobbit though, so there. But yeah, I'm excited to delve into this fantasy world of renown. The last seven books that I have in this book haul all came from a shipment order from Chapters, which is like our Barnes and Noble in Canada. And I always enjoy going shopping there. It's a little expensive, but if you can find a deal, then that's awesome, right? And a lot of these books were on sale, I believe. There we go. The first one that I got is The Princess and the Opal Mask by Jenny Lundquist. I hadn't heard of this, but honestly that cover is beautiful. So that's what first drew me. And whoa, hi. And of course I read the first line on the back, which is every fairy tale ending has a price. Me and fairy tales is I'm sold. From what I have read in some reviews. It sounds a little bit like The Prince and the Pauper, a twist on that. The next book that I got is Passenger by Alexandra Brecken. This is a book that everybody's raving about. I don't think I need to explain it to you. Just need to look up Booktube Passenger and everybody will be freaking out. And I know the sequel is now out, so I won't have to wait for it for when I'm done. It looks awesome. And intriguing and it's actually very heavy I don't know why it's so heavy it just it's very heavy paper it's, it's maybe maybe it's just hiding all the tears I'm gonna have and I'm, I don't know the next book well actually graphic novel that I bought is wires and nerves by Marissa Meyer with art by Doug Holgate I was so excited when I heard about this I actually watched it on April's channel. Yes, thank you very much. The next book that I bought is The Gypsy King by Maureen Fergus. I heard much about this, 
once again, it's fantasy. It's a girl holding a knife, so I'm down for it. And the next book is highly anticipated. King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. Is that how you spell it? I don't know. And I believe it's the last book in the Red Queen series, so looking forward to it. The first book was really good in my opinion, but then the second book took a very different turn, turn to the world, so I'm interested to see if they kind of con converge and blow everything up in this one. I'm very interested. Next one I have, once again, is being very hyped up, is Carval by Stephanie Garber. I don't have to say anything about this. Every booktuber is raving about this, so I, of course, I had to go get it. And it's beautiful, so, mm, yay, yay. Oh boy, my battery's dying. Last, last book, last book, I swear. The last book I have is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Marissa Meyer, love her work. And then Alice in Wonderland and the, the, the heart queen person, her origin tale. I'm gonna take this because I've heard you just cry. That's all that I have for you guys today. I need to make this quick before my battery dies. Oh my goodness. You can like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's any books that you're like, oh my gosh, what the, I haven't heard that. Please let me know what you think about it. Make a video when you read it. I don't know why that's how you guys speak in my mind. Until next time, everybody, keep reading, keep writing, and I love you all. Bye!